my second one here is doing the spring rolls. Can I have you and will you, you join it together? Okay. You don't want to. <laughs> Something else. Something else. Okay. okay, can I ask you to, will, excuse me, will you uh, be his partner and do the spring rolls? Done. Okay, it's very easy, I'll show you. Next one. We've got the corn pudding. I need two people here. Will you guys do the, the corn pudding? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay. Well done, thank you guys. Next station, we've got the roasted um, the roasted pumpkin, bacon, and feta frittata. So I also want will you two do that? Great. Sorry, guys. Guys, sorry. Guys, the next one is the lamb roast Josh. Will you two do that for me? Okay. I just want to quickly tell you I've doubled. Anybody who doesn't have a partner, so a table can stand up here too with me because I'm not sure. It's part of this too. So um, I've just doubled the list. You can just put all the ingredients together. Next one, pastech de nata. I need two people. Will you two do that, or do you need a lady's help on that? It's a dessert. And tell me Will you help him? Okay. Guys, I've also doubled this recipe, but you can follow this recipe because this is just one. So I want you to make two of these. So you can make one and she can make one. Actually, okay. these two can make a dish and then I can help them. These two gentlemen? Okay. There's not too many dishes for everyone. Tell me you can help. Yeah, that's okay. Great. Okay. Guys, then I've got a lychee cheesecake over here. Will you to do that? Great. And then, over here with that. Nigel, you have got a table. I'm, 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 I'm over here. And then, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the table. I'm over here. Nigel, I'm going to take the Okay, yeah, because I still have a chicken korma here at the front. Yeah. Then I've got a bit of a This one is very, very yeah. really nice. Yeah, we'll um, I'll do it let me quickly see. When you guys are finished with your um, focaccia, just making the dough, yes. Yes. Well, you start with the fillet for the split. And then you can go back to doing the focaccia. Um, and then there's a red vegetable curry. Who, who can help? Do you want to do you want to do the red vegetable curry for me? No, she's going to help. Yes, she's a dog. Okay, and then you, sir, at the front, you guys do that one. I guess. Okay. We're in big trouble here. And then I'll stop the the spinach and peas. That's a filo. That's spinach and peas in a filo triangle. Spinach and peas. I need. One or two people to do this one. This okay, one is how we'll do it. Go on. <laughs> try. Okay. Yeah, try. Yeah, it's very fun to do because you have to fold the pastry and I'll show you everything. So, we eat the pastry while we're folding? <laughs> you more than welcome. Okay. Yeah. okay, so everybody's got a station. Yeah, we've just, these two gentlemen, we've taken the tummy away from them because Nigel okay. was alone. So she's now helping him. Oh, okay. So these two are alone, but we'll yeah. help them. No, we'll no, 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 Just one thing, guys, with the lychee cheesecake. I've already done your um, the the mix of the jelly, and um, I will come and help you just now. But you can already you can start with with um, with your recipe. First of all, okay, guys, I just want to welcome you at uh, the Northgate Cooking School. My name is Manette. I will be helping you tonight while you're busy cooking. Please, as I said earlier, don't panic. It's really it's fun to be in the kitchen and, and cook. Um, second of all, there's drinks in the fridge. I want you to please help yourselves with drinks while you're busy cooking. And the glasses are back there. The bathroom is if you go outside, around, up the steps, and it's in the back, um, the right hand corner. Um, I'm now going to do just a quick ingredient introduction. Um, I'm going to start off with the onion. I want you to please just quickly have a look here for me. Even if you buy the onions in the shops, that's already been peeled. I want you to take off the first layer. It's waxed. It doesn't suit your dish. So you're going to take your onion. You're going to chop off both sides. Guys, I'm talking about this whole layer. Not just this outside piece. Take the whole, even if, if you buy the, the onions that's all, you know.
you know, the, it's white. It doesn't have that um, on the outside. You have to take off the, the first layer. So you're going to take your onion, you're going to cut it into half. Normally, um, most of you start chopping your onion from this side, am I correct? Yeah. That is why you're crying, because you're breaking the onion cells. So if you turn the onion this way around, you'll see that the onion has got lines going through like this. So if you follow the lines through, you won't cry. So you're going to start... Turn the onion around so you don't chop your fingers. <laughs> then you're just going to turn your onion the other way around and you're going to start chopping. In this way, you won't cry because you didn't break the onion cell. Okay, so that is your chopped onion. Second of all is your garlic. Um, guys, I want you to please, don't buy the garlic crusher that you find in the shop, where you put this piece of garlic, you put it in it and you squeeze it. That garlic crusher takes out all the juices in the garlic. So you can either crush your own garlic, or you can buy these. Um, it's John West Gold Crest, it's called minced garlic. It's a little bit more expensive, but those big Tupperwares you buy in the shops, with the oil in it, with the garlic, that's not healthy. So either crush your own garlic, or buy this minced garlic. It's, so, not, it's not available in our country. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to crush brands. your own garlic. Well, with a different brand. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of different brands that you get. So you're going to just you take your garlic. Yeah, there's a lot of oil and it's not healthy. So you're going to take your garlic, you're going to chop off both sides. You're going to smash it to peel off the skin. Chop it a little bit. Then you're going to take table salt. Don't use the grinder salt. So you're going to take some salt. The salt just helps so that the garlic doesn't jump all over the board when, you, when you're crushing it. Then you're going to take a table knife. Don't use a chef knife or a sharp knife. You're going to cut your salt. And then you're just going to... And the salt adds traction. Yep. Don't worry about the amount of salt that you put in the garlic because it won't really affect the, the taste of your food that you are making. Um, but always taste your salt and pepper um, in the food that you are preparing. And this is your crushed garlic. Okay, I can just do a little bit more, but it's fine. Okay, so that's your crushed garlic. The last thing is your herbs. You will find your herbs in a container with water just to keep them fresh. I want you just to hold your herbs and throw your water out in the nearest bin. Take your scissors and just chop inside the container. In this way, you're not losing a lot of the herbs on the board. Especially when the herbs are wet, uh, the herbs sticks to the board and you can't get it off. So this just helps so that you get the correct amount in your dish. You have two rules here at school. Uh, first rule is, please read your recipe from the top to the bottom to make sure that you understand what you have to mix with what and uh, if you have to dice or slice any of the ingredients. Um, the second rule is please ask me to put on the, the stoves for you. I've already switched on all the ovens, so if you need an oven, I will um, just uh, give you an available oven. Um, and yes, as I said, you're, you're welcome to have drinks while you're busy cooking. You're welcome to start. <laughs>